Today we celebrate the feast of St. Bartholomew the Apostles. You know what Bartholomew means? Bar means son, and Ptolemy is the name of the father, son of Ptolemy. He is listed in the Gospel of Matthew, Mark, and Luke, and even in the Acts of the Apostles. Otherwise, he's not mentioned so much in the New Testament, at least not under the name Bartholomew. Almost all scripture scholars identify Bartholomew as Nathaniel in the Gospel of John. So, on the feast, we read that St. Bartholomew, in the passage of John, is actually Nathaniel who is introduced to Jesus by his friend Philip. And Jesus says of him, Here is a true child of Israel. There is no duplicity in him. Wouldn't you like Jesus to say that about you? And so we get this beautiful presentation of Bartholomew, a good Jew, honest and innocent, who devotes time to quiet reflection and prayer under the fig tree and has been awaiting the Messiah, the Holy One of God. So Jesus says to him, Before Philip called you, when you were under the fig tree, I saw you. And Nathaniel says, Wow, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. And being a true child of Israel, Nathaniel was a man well read in the Scriptures and knew what they said of the Messiah and where he would come from. That is why he is skeptical of Philip's claim that Jesus is the Messiah. Can anything good come out of Nazareth? But Nathaniel was lacking duplicities, that is, his heart was undivided, his intentions pure. In encountering Jesus and hearing his words, he found himself face to face with truth himself and like John the Baptist leap in his mother's womb at the Lord's presence. Nathaniel's words leapt out of his own heart in a clear and simple confession of faith when he said, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus says in the Gospel of Matthew, Blessed are the pure of heart, for they shall see God. In Nathaniel, we have an example of the pure man who sees and recognizes God when confronted with him and on seeing him, believes in him, and upon believing in him, follows him. Nothing is known for sure about the life of Bartholomew after the ascension of Jesus, but tradition holds that he preached in the East and died a martyr's death in Armenia, being flayed alive for having won converts to the Lord Jesus. St. Bartholomew, the son of Ptolemy, remember that. God bless you.